Hey everyone, so in this video I want to show you the correct way to clean the video head on some of these older digital 8, 8mm video 8 cameras. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there that do it the incorrect way, mostly because they either don't clean the entire head, or they end up just using cotton swabs or q-tips, which are kind of really bad for the uh, video heads. So I'm just going to kind of show you how I clean it on this camera and, and it's going to be the same for a lot of these models so hopefully that clears up a lot of misconceptions about that I'm going to start by just popping the battery out and we actually don't need power to, to do any of this and what I usually do is I take off this entire side panel because once you take this panel off you get a really clear view on the video head right here and it's, it's a lot harder to do it any other way. So there's several screws and I may or may not fast forward through the rest of this part. So as you've probably noticed, I have a really close angle on this. That's just so I can get a pretty good look at the video head here. So once you have that entire side piece off, you're gonna kind of have a camera that looks like this. And the video head is right up here and you'll see it spin. So what I normally do is I set the camera like this and then you kind of have clear access to it. It kind of stays like this too, so you don't need to prop it up. At least this camera does. I don't know about other models. The problem I see with other videos is people just use the Q-tips or cotton swabs and they just sort of take them and, and brush up against the video head. There's, there's issues with that because number one, if you go against the video head in any way except for directly horizontal, it could damage the video head and uh, the cotton swabs tend to leave a bunch of residue behind. So everybody I've seen on, on different video forums says that you should use these uh, chamois swabs right here. I've got mine on Amazon. This is like a 50 pack or something. I end up just using two sides um, and then I will end up cutting it in half and then using the other ones a different time. The other thing is you need uh, some isopropyl alcohol. This bottle of mine came with one of those cleaning head tapes that didn't work out. So I think this is at least 99% isopropyl alcohol, which is what you're supposed to use. So what I do is I take a couple drops, put on one side here, let's just do three. And then using one hand, set this against the video head and use another finger here to spin the head. So let me see if I can get a good shot here. So I do one of these. And you just kind of leave the, the chamois swab up against it. Don't move it vertical at all, just kind of leave it in place. And then turn the head clockwise a few times. I've already kind of lost count. And then pull it out. And then if you can see, you probably can't see on this video, but there's actually a bunch of gunk here. And it's been about, I put maybe 30, 35 hours of tapes through this thing and they were old dirty tapes. So after I do the one side, I'll maybe put one or two drops on the other side and just repeat. take it off and then this one is basically done so what I'll do now is I'll just kind of chop this end off and then I have another good side to use and that's it so I usually let this thing air dry for about 20 minutes put the side cover back on and it's ready to go